Hey everyone, welcome back y'all. We are back with a very quick food haul for tonight. I was not planning on buying any groceries until this coming Friday. I misspoke earlier in my emergency fund binder video. I don't have a $25 per week grocery budget. I have a $50 per week grocery budget. So I just wanted to update y'all on that really quick. Now, here's what happened. My daughter just got her paperwork in from school with all of us moms and quote dads as well applying for the food program at the school they are no longer allowing any child to have a free breakfast unless you actually qualify for free breakfasts and free lunches our school district has never done this before every student regardless of their income has always gotten free breakfast they don't do that anymore due to the fact in the last year and a half they allowed everybody to have free breakfast and free lunch regardless of your income, because of the COVID situation. So now the school, for those of us parents who have to pay for breakfast and lunch, they are no longer doing any free programs unless you actually qualify for that. So with that being said, my daughter is running low on some items. I will say that our school district is very pathetic with their breakfasts and lunches. I don't mean to be negative, but they are the size of a toddler portion Usually they're very cold when the kids get the meals. It's not so good, and even my daughter has said so. I've been to the school during breakfast time. I've been to the school during lunch time. I know what those breakfasts and lunches are like. They're disgusting, I'll be honest. So I probably will be making her more hot breakfasts at home before she goes to school. So I will also probably be making sure that I have what she needs in stock for lunch times. Now, my daughter is a volleyball player, so she does have to stay at school a little bit longer after school because she has practice, and that might also play into her being starving by the time she gets home. So anyways, this is some stuff that she needed for her salads. She does have some items in the fridge that we still have in stock that she will also put with the salads. We have shredded carrots. We do have tomatoes. She doesn't really care for tomatoes, so she doesn't use those, but she does use shredded carrots, and there's some other items in the fridge that she can use on her salad as well, and she'll be doing that. Things like sliced chicken for protein for a chicken salad, type salad, things of that nature. So, this is $15 through hy V. We have got a three-pack of romaine lettuce. We have got my coffee creamer because I was running really low. Now I'm out. I'll show you what I'm doing with that here in just a moment. This is the longest, heaviest, biggest cucumber I have ever seen in my life. This is an English cucumber, y'all, and it is 14 inches long. This comes from Canada, so I've been buying from the wrong country, apparently. <laughs> Usually when I get English cucumbers, they're very small, they're very pricey, and it's just what it is because regular cucumbers, they seem like they look great, and when you slice them, they're great, but when you taste them, they taste like water. And my household does not like just the generic regular cucumber. We do like the English cucumbers, but I've never in my life seen a cucumber this long this big and it was only two dollars and 19 cents if this continues to be two dollars and 19 cents at our local high v i will happily buy these so the cucumbers will be slicing them up for danya for her salads um the kids here at the house can also slice it up and put it into a salad jesse loves salad we also slice them up and replace this with chips instead of having chips we slice up the cucumber they love chipotle ranch with it and that's what they use to dip their cucumbers in when they have lunch at home was usually a sandwich. We got some croutons. This is Danya's favorite croutons that she likes to have. She wanted the peppercorn ranch dressing. I have not been able to find this at my local Aldi. They used to carry it. I don't know if they're no longer carrying it. I can't find it at Walmart either. And it may just not be on the app. I'm not sure why it wouldn't be, but I found it at Hy-Vee. And this is all from Hy-Vee in case I didn't say that. Um, but I found that at High V and was able to get that for her. Now, what do I do with my coffee creamer? I'll tell you that here in just a minute because I know you guys saw the little glass Starbucks on the side here. This is cilantro. I'm making homemade fresh pico de gallo. Y'all, it's so much easier to make it at home. I watched a video from Stacy Flowers. She was making homemade pico de gallo. Showed us how easy it was to make. No longer am I going to buy pico de gallo in the store. It's a lot more expensive, but it's cheaper to make at home. So we have that. Now, over here I've got my coffee creamer. And with that, um, what I do is I take my glass Starbucks glasses here that I have. 
These you can find in the store either on a four pack over in the beverage aisle or up front where the coolers are where you buy your sodas and your energy drinks. If you just want to grab one, you can grab one. I have six of them in stock. I had a lot more. I started to pare down what I needed versus what I didn't need in some of the areas of my kitchen. And with that being said, what I do is I brew my own coffee at home. I add in my creamer, whatever flavor I choose to add in. And sometimes I do multiple different creamers in a week. I add my sugar and then I put it into my glass Starbucks cup mugs here. I cap it. I've got the caps over on the other counter. I put them in the fridge. And then for the next couple of days, I can have ice brewed coffee at home for literally pennies. I do know that when I buy these at the store, I believe they're like $2.65 for one of these. I make them at home for less than 10 cents. So that's what I do with that. This is what I have for tonight. Again, it was $15 and I may have to raise my food budget slightly because Danya will probably be taking more lunches from home than she will be eating at school. Again, she's getting 30 cents is what she has to pay for breakfast. 40 cents is what she has to pay for lunch. And that is the reduced price for our school district. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. We'll catch you in the next video. Have a great night. Without Limits is out.